हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड इन योर करियर सो वेलकम टू लेट्स कोड माय सेल्फ करण राणे हियर आई एम फोर स्टार डेवलपर हैविंग अ 3 इयर एक्सपीरियंस इन डेवलपमेंट एज वेल एज अ फोर स्टार कोडर ऑन कोड सेफ एंड स्पेशली ऑन कोड फोर्सेस सो टुडे आई एम बैक विद द अनदर ओए प्रॉब्लम दैट इज आज रिसेंटली इन द कोग्निसेंट दैट इज ऑन ऑन कैंपस एंड इट इज आस्क्ड रिसेंटली ऑन 5 डेज और 6 डेज बैक so let us start the problem by understanding what actually asked in the on campus way of the cognizant in various colleges so let's see the problem step by step so here the problem is you are given an array of integers and an integer n and your task is to the first task is to you have to find the sum of first n unique largest num element from the array second will be the subtract the largest element from those n elements and from the sum this is called discount and after that you to have to finally return the result after applying the discount that means you have to first find out the n unique largest number from the array after that you have to find out the per discount and you have to result return the result after applying the discount so what you have given in the input in the input you have given array list of integers and that is the number of largest element to the sum and what you have to write output the output you have to do is the resultant value after subtracting the largest element from the sum of the first n largest element what is the constant given the constant is too simple it's 1 less than n any less than length of that is o1 complexity and second constant is that if n is greater than the number of unique element then output should be zero so let's see the understand the problem by the following example so we have an example given that is the input array having 5 2 9 1 7 4 6 and here n equal to 3 so the largest unique elements of the first we need to find the largest unique number from the array so the largest unique number is the 9 7 and 6 then sum of the largest unique number it is that 9 plus 7 plus 6 that is equal to 22 so after subtracting the largest element that is 9 the result will be 22 minus 9 that is equal to 13 and that is the expected output that we have to print now in the second case we have n equal to 1 only the largest element so we have the input array 5291746 here n equal to 1 so the largest element in the array uh, unique in the array and that is unique is 1 so after subtracting from itself 9 minus 9 is equal to 0 and the expected output will be 0 so that's the problem the problem is too simple you have to first find out the n largest unique element from the array now you have to subtract it now you have to return the result after applying the discount So let's go to the VS Code and see how can we write the codes for it. Let's discuss the code segment of the given problem. That is, as you have read about the problem that you are given an array of integer and an integer n, and your task is to find the sum of the first and the largest unique element from the array. Next, you have to subtract the largest element from those n element from the sum, and this is called the discount. So the subtraction of the largest element from the sum, this is called the discount. and finally we have to return the result after applying the discount that means we have to find the largest number unique elements now we have to sum uh, now we have to subtract the largest element from the sum now after finding out we need to result to return the result ap after applying the discount so for that i have written a function in that i take a small some largest number with discount under that i have taken a pass a vector array and an integer n in that i first pre calculated the pre check the base case so what's actually the base case it will check that your n value would not be less than 0 or it should be greater than equal to array dot size it's not be because in that case the array size in the first case the array will be the n if n is less than 0 then there will be also then there no array elements 
and in the another case if the array size is out of the bond so how can you do that so for that we have invalid case so it will return zero now if n is approximately equal to array dot size but it should be less than the array dot size then in that case we will create a set so why do we create a set there so set is a data structure that will allow only unique elements so for storing the unique elements in an array we are using set data structure so i have declared a set of integer type of unique elements in which i sort them automatically in ascending order for that i use array dot begin to array dot end it will sort them in ascending order next i will check if there are not unique element if we find out the unique element then we have to check if n is greater than the unique element or not so in that case we also return zero now after this two cases we need to check we need to do another sorting so for that same as for that ascending we do for the descending so in that case we use we start from the reverse end to the end end that is reverse begin to the reverse end so for that again we uh, make a vector array that will sort in unique elements i will sort them in the reverse order now we need to find now we have to take the first and largest unique elements so how can we do that we declare the largest element of vector array and in that i sort the vector that is a sorted unique element dot begin to sorted unique element to begin plus n that is after to the n now we have to calculate the sum so that we need we can find out the discount so for that i declared a total sum variable and i take a loop that will iterate for to the for num to the largest and in that i will add up to the sum now we have find out the largest element now we have to find the discount so what the actual discount so the largest element that is the which one in the sorted order is actually the discount now we find out the discount now what we have to do next we need to return the sum after the discount so the total sum will be minus by discount that will the total sum of the array that we have to find so that's how you can code this problem easily in three simple steps the two simple steps are similar ascending and descending and normal iteration and normal math logic so let's see each one of the case case cases that we have write so we have one of the test cases that 529174 and what you have to return here n1 equal to 3 and as in the example given the expected output is 3 so when i run this code i got that our test case and path and we got the output 